Good evening, and welcome to the studio this evening. <coughs> well, last night we finished the grading. Well, not the grading, the um, that thing that we were doing last night. You know that that thing. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to put a. I really ought to get some sort of barn doors or something for this camera. Just to stop the glare that you're seeing off the top there, which is coming from this uh, this light, which is above me. Well, it's there. See? As soon as I shade it, a lot better. Uh, I just need something to hold things in place. Like that. Eh, sort of, that works. Yeah, we finished the, um, well, we didn't exactly finish the bracelet. I did a little bit more off stream. But this is at its actual length. It's not quite finished. It's, uh, it's about half a row, uh, which needs to be done. But it's all I'm gonna do for the moment because I need to order some sterling silver versions of that. This is silver plated and for Mrs. Zaraganat that silver plating will last about two hours and so um, I need to get some solid sterling silver uh, clasps and then we will actually uh, weave this onto the clasps and it will be a completed cuff bracelet. I do love it. It allows that for flexibility. Actually, it's, it's rather weird as well because I tried. You'd think you'd be able to roll this up. Uh, it's that flexible. And you, you sort of can. But as you roll it up, it gets looser and looser. It doesn't roll up tight, which you, th you might think it would. Um, just about any way you try and do this, you roll it up. Like that and if it was paper for example a paper roll you'd be able to continue rolling it and it would get tighter and tighter when you do that it gets looser and looser with this it's really weird but it's a lovely flexible thing I mean I just can't believe how flexible it is but anyway um so I can't do any more on that at the moment so I'm going to try the next thing and you can probably see it sort of poking out here uh, so I, when I got that I also got some Kuma, Kuma was it Kumahimo kit to try now I did surprise myself but I get, again get surprised because this came with a small disc rather than a large disc which wasn't quite what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a large disc, but what the heck, you know, another one of those things. But the small one's fine. So as a kit, it comes with thread. Well, yeah, whatever you call this stuff, which reminds me. Let me uh, zoom this camera out a little bit. At least for the moment. Uh, the disc um, three four five eight of these which are bobbin holders well the thread holders sort of uh, turn into weight cups <laughs> or almost like suckers but there wouldn't be a sucker because there's a hole in the middle but you can wrap your thread around there close it up holds it nice and firmly some glue Cyanacrylate gel adhesive, some ends, two lots of ends, because reputedly there is enough here to, to make both a bracelet and a necklace. 
and so there's two bracelet ends and a necklace end in there along with what looks like safety chain and a Uh, one of those things. Lobster claw clasp. Again, I suspect these are silver plated. But um, they will have to be used for this because I haven't got any. And I'm not about to go out and buy any gold plated. No gold plated. Oh dear, I am getting expensive. Um, sil uh, sterling silver end caps. But we'll deal with that later and a set of instructions which is good because I'm the foggiest idea I'm assuming it's instructions it looks like it it's an instruction booklet and uh, it's supposed to have uh, jewelry ideas in it as well which is all well and good um, We'll be doing a simple braid bracelet, I'm guessing, to start with. Or something like that. Uh, you can do necklaces. And then beaded work. Well, beading stuff comes later. Because I have got some. Uh, stuff to do beading with uh, beading uh, 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 kumahimo braid uh. oh god you cannot get your words out with this thing kumahimo braided beading that's a mouthful right So I'm about to just have a quick look at the instructions. I mean, I, I'm almost a case of instructions. <laughs> what the heck? Just do it. But it's probably a reasonable idea to at least take a, a quick look at them. Yeah. Right, okay, so you're doing lots of advertising about your own stuff, but what the heck, you know, that's fair enough. Uh, the trouble is you're telling me all about these wonderful electroplated stuff, which doesn't last two minutes around uh, Mrs. Aragonart, but that's fair enough. Ah... Uh, So we start with eight pieces of cord and work from there. Okay. And then we'll be using that. So let's open the cord and see what we've got cord wise. You know what? I'm going to change glasses. Well, I don't need them to see this close. It's actually, it will help if I change my glasses. I guess my prescription is changing a little bit. Which isn't surprising. It's a year since I've had them. So, right. This doesn't, this looks like they are going to be Oh, I see. It's multicoloured. So I bet this is all one colour. I thought this was um, single coloured threads, not multicoloured threads. So that's one end. Is this going to be one complete length? 
That wasn't quite what I was expecting either. There's lots of um, not expecting going on here. I think obviously with it being multicolored like this when you saw it in the advert and uh, when you see it when it arrives in the pack it looks like lots of different threads but essentially you don't stand a chance of having you know, just take your pick really so do we have any idea of how long this wants to be yeah I know they're going in four sets of two Eight pieces of cord. That's a great help. And who has 25 pennies to put in a plastic bag to act as weight? Hmm. They must think we made the money. So we will get started on this in a minute. Okay. Yeah. I know that bit, okay, but I want to make things, so how long does it need to be? Yeah, I know you can end it, but I ain't got that far yet. Okay, and I can remove it, yes, I know you can remove it, but you haven't told me the important bit yet. You've told me how to put it on the board. You've told me how to knot it, you've told me how to lay it out, you've told me how to do the thing. You're now telling me how to take it off. What you haven't done yet is tell me how long it should be. Um, I mean, I suppose what I can do is just, because it's going to be eight cords, is fold it in half, fold it in half and fold it in half. Um, and that's very clever okay and I'm reading this thing here and it's telling me about how I can whip the I must have made the, the stuff I can whip it with some eslon cord for example before cutting it off whipping is sort of tying round and round and round and round and round and, and sort of fastening it off so it holds it as a bundle. That's great. Didn't give me any, did they? So it's a great way to work to finish it. Yeah, fantastic. Why didn't you give me some then? Wouldn't have needed much. So I've got to find something else to whip it with, like cotton, perhaps. I think I've got some bright yellow. Um, I can add stuff to that. Yes, I know I can embellish it and I can add stuff to it. But that's not the point. Finally, okay, a simple braided bracelet, which is what we're going to be doing, I guess. And this says we can start with two one yard pieces. Oh no, we start with four one yard pieces. Okay. Of course, um, they don't give you like one colour, they give you a piece of multicoloured. So I can't actually make the first project that they talk about, which is, for example, a shocking pink bracelet. There you go. Shocking pink. And the materials list for this very nice looking shocking pink bracelet is two yards of shocking pink and two yards of pink. That's not pink. Or even shocking pink for that matter. Okay, I know it's a project idea, but at least you could have given me something that was close. Hmm. 
And because you with me, I suppose you just make this as long as it's going to go, isn't it, really? So, in that case then, we're just going to make this as long as it's going to go. That means I need the other end. Not fantastically impressed. I mean, the kits come presumably with everything I need. But... And, and okay, you get this in theory, in, free, in theory, free booklet which gives you some ideas to do for your next project. Don't tell you. I mean, you look at this and think, hey, that's really nice. Can't make it. Hey, that's really nice. Can't make it. Hey, that's really nice. Can't make it. Um, because they don't give you. So what's this one going to look like? Multicoloured? Anybody's guess. Hmm. The kit I did yesterday with the um, that one I showed you, the uh, VOT bead, uh, beadwork, quite good. Showed you on the front what it was it was going to make. Uh, instructions. Showed you what it was going to make. Okay, they're in black and white, but showed you what it was going to make. And you actually got what you were going to make at the end of it. You know, you actually got out, or I'm getting out, what it shows you on the front. This one? Nah. So I folded this in half. And I'm now going back down to the other end. Because we might as well just make a long cord. So that's four. So I folded that in half. So now I've got four lengths. So now I will undo that knot and then fold this in half again. That will then give me one, two, three, four. That'll give me eight, which is what I need. You know what? I reckon that's not far short. Well, it's it only, I don't think I'm going to get a bracelet and a necklace out of that. So, again, I'm not particularly impressed. In fact, I'm going to let me. I'll, let me measure how long I'm going to use a ruler to do this, but I'm going to measure how long this cord is. So 15, 30, 45, 60. It's five feet. Okay. They reckon. A simple bracelet is going to take three feet. Can't even make two bracelets. The suggestion that I recall seeing when I ordered this was kind of... Now I suppose it could have said, and I might have to look this up, a bracelet or a necklace, and that they give you the findings for both. Because presumably you've got the you've got just these square well here you go square ends. You see the square ends, these uh, two here, square ends, and then you've got these tubular ends. So presumably you'd be able, you know use one the square ends with together with the lobster claw clasp for a bracelet, for example, and then the tubular end, the um, pyramidal ends. For a necklace, given that one's like a hook, make it easier to. Actually, I'm not sure which will be the easiest to to um, to fasten the the hook or you know for a bracelet or the hook for a, a necklace. But either way, so you kind of think, hey, I've got two. You have to have a very small neck. So it looks like I can use one or the other. And I'm kind of disappointed. The thread can't be that expensive that they couldn't give you enough to make both. 
you know? It sort of is suggestive that you could make both in the advert, I'm sure, because I was kind of expecting that and it was, which one do I want to make first? Because I was kind of thinking, you know, make one, make a length for a bracelet or for a necklace, then cut it off and do it again. No, that isn't going to work. And I kind of feel a little bit cheated. Creams, good evening. And get my head round it, uh, Creams, but it, I'm just really disappointed in a way with the length. Uh, you know, they, as I said, the, the suggestion was that I'd be able to make a necklace and a bracelet. Okay, I suppose I could have misread that to be or a necklace, necklace or a bracelet. Mm, and if that was true, okay. But given that I've got findings for both, I've got five feet of cord when you only need three feet for a, a bracelet. Okay, five feet for a necklace, fair enough. But hmm, I just feel, I feel a little bit cheated. I don't think I'll have a problem getting my head around it though. It's, it's a fairly simple sort of thing by the looks of it. Uh, to do but we shall see so I'm just gonna rather than tie a knot in this end I am just going to stick a uh, tie through there like that I mean when you read the instructions here it talks about for example fold four cords in half I've only got one cord um, yeah, things like that. It's um, yeah. Well, this is mail order, of course. So um, didn't have much chance to look at it, but and I I I got the kit rather than buying. I mean, it's, it's easy enough to know what the bits were, but I kind of got the kit because you, that way you can't forget something. You know, for the first try, you don't want to forget something and, and miss getting something which I would say is vital, but you know, you then to go by to be able to do some more. And um, to find it doesn't quite meet your expectations, then that this set is. Hmm, it's like when this, I've got this. When I opened the box, I thought that's smaller than I was expecting it. It looked like the large one, or maybe they sell half a dozen kits some with the large some with the small but of course with a photograph you can't tell I don't recall it saying it was a small disc not that it fantastically is particularly a problem small or large you know but yeah so an extremely sharp knife let me cut these um, threads. At which point I probably find that I shouldn't have done that, but anyway, unlike that thread, for example. <laughs> And now I've got, to, I've got to wrap these up, haven't I, onto, uh, onto bobbins, just to get them out of the way and stop them uh, getting uh, all sort of tangled up with each other, which it looks like I'm already doing. Hmm. Well, this one has 32, so at least it's not, uh, it's not limited in that way, you know, like um, it would be if it was a like a small disc with half in, in what so you could only make sort of um, what am I trying to say because it's got 32 you can make sort of up to about 30 thread uh, braids with it I guess 
or something like that. You know, you can go to you can go to some of the larger number of braids with uh, rather than having just a few small numbers, and then you're not able to uh, to do some of the other braids. But don't know how long that wants to be, but that'll do about that long. And I'm knocking things off the desk again. Stay there. I bet those pliers aren't heavy enough to hold it either. So, how are you doing, creams? Been a while since you've been around. And the interesting thing about this is whether I'm going to enjoy doing this at all. <laughs> Especially now with the slight disappointment of, uh, of finding out it wasn't quite as expected. It's got something to live up to now. you got geckos. Wow. Came today <laughs> on Gumtree. Mm, interesting thing to sell on Gumtree. Well, I suppose it... Uh, did its job then, didn't it really? But fairly obviously, you like geckos. I thought you already had some. Is this some extra ones, or is this um... no? Starting again or something? Or did I just get mistaken? Now that you've made room, you've got you, you've made room. You bought things you had room for before. Yeah. Did you 
turn it up. Right, let's see then if we can do this. Hmm. Oh, that's hard to get in there. They're supposed to stop things getting tangled. Oh, well, near enough. feeling this will be a heck of a lot easier to keep track of what should go where if they were um, if I could use sort of separate colors and then being multicolored I can see this being a, an interesting thing if you lose track of what should be where right so let me get that to go in Right, Captain Derby, good evening, welcome. So I'm going to do some braiding. And uh, I am just thinking which is going to be best for, and let me move this camera a little bit because given that um, I'm doing that, it's probably going to be better for a top down look so I shall just um, adjust the camera a little bit like that I may have to refocus it but if I'm going to hold that about there that should make it a bit easier so let's refocus the camera Okay, I don't watch that, so I wouldn't know, but it probably is. So I'm doing this, you know, I can read the instruction. Yeah, I'm already getting caught up, yes. But anyway, that goes down there. These bobbins are supposed to make it easier. And that goes up there. And I'm off camera already. If I remember rightly, that comes down there like that, and that goes up there like that. Tell you what, I'm braiding. I'm braiding on both sides of this, on the top of <laughs> all of these. See, it's getting into a somewhat of a tangle. Untangled, man. Eh? Uh, Clouds guy, good evening and welcome. Uh, oh, I can stand getting there. Um, Captain Derby, it's you know, moving around. My 
stream title is correct, I think. Um, it says I'm doing this. No, it did when I when I set it just before the stream. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah, I've just realised what you meant, uh, Creams. Obviously a bit slow tonight. I don't think I've actually ever watched Creating Craft. I think I've seen it available, but that's um, that's about it. Uh, which is kind of interesting because I'd watch it, <laughs> but um, that'd be about as far as I went. Just watch it. If I could get my mind around it, I'd, I'd do this without turning the uh, the disc around. But it's it's easier to do this <laughs> than try and work out uh, the correct uh, correct pattern. Six L seventy six. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, that's because he's not around at the moment, <laughs> I am glad to say. You're probably right as well. I can imagine him uh, or any of them going absolutely crackers uh, trying to chase them. He uh, he's, he's appears to have gone out for the moment. Well, I'm guessing if you're sort of the uh, impatient type, this is uh, this develops quite quickly. Three D block. Good evening and welcome to the studio this evening. I finished the well. I, I almost finished the um, the bracelet I was doing last night. I haven't quite finished it. Um, essentially, the next whilst whilst there's about half a row left to do, 
essentially the next bit is to fasten the class one and I want to get a sterling silver one uh, rather than the silver plate so I need to order one of those before uh, I can do it so I'm doing this which is braiding Well, it started, uh, started, started. I guess the uh, not not as braiding, but as tangle every cord up as much as you possibly can, and then spend the next ten minutes untangling them all. Uh, Kitsuka. It's a, well, this is a, this, okay, you're looking at me doing it for the first time ever. Um, and this is the, 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 the standard simple braid. Um, it doesn't seem too difficult to me either. Um, I understand the, you know, as you get more complicated, then yes, it can get a little, you need a bit more concentration, but this seems relatively easy. And uh, it grows really quickly um, because it's now that long. Uh, actually, it's not free. I mean, yes, when I tangled these up at the start, I did kind of feel a bit frustrated with getting all this. But once once they were all straightened out, and uh, you know, you're doing it in an open space like this then it really is uh, quite quickly uh, interestingly Kitsuka and that's next for me to try so um, we'll find out I'll pause that at this rate that possibly will be tomorrow but we'll uh, we'll see It's the sort of thing uh, for me I could see being um, quite relaxing, and by the you know you you you'd be doing this, and then um, all of a sudden you've got about ten yards, <laughs> uh, ten yards of cord. I may be doing this a bit too tight, but it kind of encourages you to do it tight because you're trying to put the cord through the. Um, into the slots. So maybe if I don't pull it in quite as tight, I'm sure the um, over time these slots get a little bit worn. And then it's not so bad, but. Uh, tangled. I kind of was expecting this to be a lot harder and to take a lot longer to do, but I do. It does seem to be progressing a lot quicker than I was expecting.
Seems like it's a good idea to keep a little bit of pull tension on this cord in the middle just to help keep the, um, the threads knitting together. This is in theory a round cord, but it actually seems to be a square, the way this is being uh, braided. So the four sides to it. It's just the tension of the threads that make it round. streaming again tonight uh, free for those of you that um, are watching that don't know uh, 3d blog he um, is an airbrush artist uh, a an acrylic painter and lately an oil painter paints oil paints uh, as well as as well as playing games so uh, quite all around I may even persuade him to do some paper craft one of these days um, but uh, check out his stream when uh, when he does. Normally from about 10 p.m. on uh, in the UK. I uh, join the week if his PC isn't playing up, which it is at the moment. Uh, good free. Lengthen that a little bit, just to unbrow, just pull it out. It's uh, it's proving to be easy to do. Oh dear, you just missed out for. <laughs> Kind of do wish they'd given you know a bit more thought to the cords and done something like uh, the illustrate, you know, the the pink one or something like that, rather than a multicoloured, uh, just a multicoloured cord that sort of comes out random. Now then, I'm looking at that, thinking, uh, where do I go? Because I've just forgotten which one I've done, but I do know that that one and that one. Because the threads are on the top for the last two that I, I moved over. So if I've moved them over, the next two will be these two. So that tells me I need to do that and then bring those over. The only thing you've got to do is remember that which way you're starting, either left, left to left and right to, you know, down and up. Or if you do it the other way, because you, you can do it either way. And which way you turn the, um, the disc. That's a tip I've learned from watching other people do it. I don't know what it looks like if you do it wrong. Maybe that'll be something to try out one day. See if it uh, produces an interesting effect. 
But since this is my first one, we will stick to the book for all the instructions. Hello, Clary Bug. Good evening. Yep. We are trying bra uh, braiding tonight. You have one of those discs. You are now going to find that you're going to want to give it out and have another go. Oh, it's easy enough to, uh, to be honest, for you to look at that and just go, that's on top, that's the next one. Turn it so it's, it's that way around. But I'm not, uh, I'm not suffering from an, an inability to work out which is the next, um, which is the next thread anyway on this. Some of the more complicated designs, because this is apparently is the simplest um, uh, braiding pattern. Some of the more complex ones I can see getting uh, lost in, especially when this disc is almost full of threads. <laughs> I've not uh, I don't think I've seen anybody do this on stream so I can't claim that I think uh, of all the all the crafts that I've done on stream um, I've, I've not seen anybody do them before I did so I think I've seen, subsequently seen people oh no the chainmail is one that I saw um, but uh, I think things like the pyrography I've seen other people since and they probably were doing it before I started but I didn't see them but uh, yeah I've not seen anybody do this I don't think ah, okay yeah Claire you watched uh, it yeah maybe uh, maybe I've missed that one I'm not sure I'd have missed him doing that I think I've um, heard actually I've heard him talk about making uh, making a freestanding something like this but freestanding uh, it's a slightly different name for it though I think he mentioned but Japanese weaving anyway yeah okay yeah cream no problem oh I see <laughs> because I've heard it yeah well that's who I can blame for the chain mail It looked fun, and I was right. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going with this until I've used all the uh, all the cord. And we'll decide afterwards what it gets turned into. I kind of wonder what this will be like with um, really thin cord, you know, really tiny cord. Or, um, I sort of like experimenting with things in that way. I, I kind of like, like with the um, chain mail, like using the, the smallest rings that I can find uh, to do something with, just because I like that sort of complex but sort of tiny. Uh, tiny look. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you have, uh, Claire. I'm not uh, not suggesting anywhere else. I just don't get much time to watch him because a lot of his streaming is during the day. I occasionally get a chance to put it on uh, whilst I'm at work just to play in the background, but um, I don't. Uh, I, you know, work comes first, of course, and. Uh, I need to concentrate then yeah, it doesn't go on I wonder if this is making anybody feel sick with this thing spinning around like this
Now these uh, slots are definitely getting easier for the thread to go into. I almost feel like if this were this was held somehow, I'd be able to use two hands at the same time. <laughs> oh, was it the uh, oh with the the. Uh, the beating was it last night or the night before? It was kind of like that with the music and uh, playing in the, you know, the, the, there was some sort of almost hypnotic background music playing. It was kind of like uh, anybody hypnotized yet? You will do my bidding, you will go to the shop, you will buy everything. The only thing I forgot to say was you will pay for it as well. <laughs> so it didn't work very well. <laughs> uh, yeah, free, but don't think, don't forget that that might happen on stream. And of course, you wouldn't know. I'd be telling you to forget that you are dancing like a chicken. <laughs> You're gonna have to watch all your vods back for at least another week, just in case. And not only that, you're going to have to be careful that I haven't told you not to see it on your rod. The daft thing is, I do have uh, a hypnotism course, a uh, full course, uh, uh, sat behind me to actually read. <laughs> you get paranoid now, you know, Free. You'll be paranoid. You never know, it, the trigger could be picking up an airbrush. Or a heavy stick. Or maybe it's the club blue. Yeah, could you imagine in the middle of Asta, yeah, a song, they start playing a slow song, <laughs> you start dancing down the aisle. Of course, the, the the fun thing now would be for you to actually simulate that on your stream, wouldn't it? To uh, to pretend it had actually happened and then <laughs> just to fool everybody else. Yeah, it's a weird thing. Is hypnotism for doing things like that? I've seen um, uh, I've, I've seen you know, uh, not stage hypnotism, proper sort of clinical hypnotism uh, done, and uh, it is weird how you know they it can, it it just works. Um, you know, somebody who would smoke ten or fifteen cigarettes a day easily, and then just the instant they even pick it up they start feeling sick 
um, and it just stops them all together. Mind you, I also, uh, this was just with some, some friends at the time, but I also saw the, because um, the, the hypnotist was a friend of the people I was with, um, I also saw him make one of the persons not be able to talk with their eyes open. So that was quite funny. But to close their eyes to talk. That's what, well apparently that's the case, you know, you, you, you've got to trust the person doing it to be able to, uh, to be hypnotised, but other than that, I'm not sure it's a case of uh, believing it or not, it's just a, a, a level of, it's a level of trust. I'm going to have to read my, uh, the course and see what it says. I'm not sure I believe that though, um, Faye. I may have not seen any examples of it. Um, and I wonder how much of that is... Um, um, sort of sub, you know, subliminal viewing or something perhaps. But, you know, but. I mean, obviously, I wasn't there, so I've never seen an example of that. But obviously, you have there. Yeah, the bit, the bit that kind of makes me sceptical in some ways about that is that, that, you know, they, if somebody really could do that, and I'm not saying they can't, but I'm just sort of thinking this through, if they really could do something like that, then police forces would be extremely interested in, in them, and um, gov the government, obviously, would be extremely interested in them, and, uh, you know, quite a few other uh, sort of agencies like that. And yet, you don't really see anything about that going on. Okay, you can say, you know, the, um, it'd be super secret and things like that, and therefore you wouldn't hear anything about it at all. But, um, you know, it, the, in theory, there's been sort of, in the past, you, you know, there's been official secrets like in America, in Freedom of Information, where there's in, in the past they've done experiments with things like uh, ESP and, and things like that and uh, sort of abandoned it. So it could be disinformation, I guess, but mm, I don't know. Yeah, so if it, if it really happened, you know. So that's kind of why I'm sceptical. I mean, that you, you get... And I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying it's not true, but you get some sort of 
Uh, well, the magicians do it, don't they? They'll do they'll do the the, the clairvoyant type type act, and um, they can always get it right. Part of it, I guess, is because people want them to get it right. But uh, you know, you can uh, you can manipulate conversations and things, and be vague enough that people think. Um, that they are really talking to whoever it is they're saying they're talking to, you know, these, uh, if they're unscrupulous. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. Kind of opened mind, but minded, but sceptical. Indeed, it is an interesting subject. I'm not sure whether it implies that they're reading your mind or are, so, are somehow able to place themselves in a different situation. You know, move, move through space with their mind, so to speak. And in which case, either it's kind of disturbing in a way. Either somebody's reading your mind or could be looking over your shoulder right now. Yeah, it, it is easy to fool people with that. Well, this is growing quite uh, rapidly. Well, rapidly-ish. It's going to just about an hour. It's gone to about eight inches. So. Uh, that way. This is one of those crafts you, well, I am doing it while talking to you guys, but it's one of those crafts that you could sort of do whilst you're watching television, on this simple grade anyway. Hmm. I suppose that's a, um, a reasonable sort of thing. So you, you, you're acting as a transmitter rather than um, a conscious transmitter, more or less. You don't we get into some strange things on this uh, on this stream? Tip for anybody who's doing this for the first time, it's easier, I'm finding it easier with these things really short like this and just winding them a little bit uh, down. They're not getting caught or tangled uh, up at all really. Um, but, uh, Elephant wise, it kind of strikes me that um, that would be sound orientated or, or ground vibration, or, uh, you know, something like that. Same with things like the uh, the whales, that infrasonic sound. But um, there's certainly lots of um, animal wise, there's lots of sort of um, examples of things that are strange shall we say things like well I mean, typical thing with cats um, you know you come home no matter what time you come home the cats always sit on the doorstep waiting for you you know does does the cat always sit there all day or you know, it doesn't matter what time it is or does it somehow hear you know that you're coming and therefore comes to greet you And then 
Well, is it body language or something? I mean, with cats, for example, um, quite often you kind of, you know, they'll meow at you or something, and you know what it is they're after. They, you know, they want a drink or they want food, but you're sort of fairly, fairly certain what it is. Uh, or they want to sit on your knee, or they want the chair that you sat on, or something. But you, you kind of know what it is without, you know, in, as far as I'm aware. I haven't heard anything different in the way they've meowed or you know I suppose their body language may be different and I'm reading that but or am I just picking up on what they're projecting I don't know well that supposedly um, free is um, down to the fact that a lot of them have essentially uh, cells that act like um, magnets in their brain um, so they can actually sense the magnetic field so north south maybe they sense the declination don't know but uh, that's supposedly um, how they uh, have some animals can do that bees for example I think can do that uh, but I mean the way um, you sort of birds fly for tens of thousands of miles to the same place or you know, trout uh, trout and salmon that will go back to the same river from the other side of the world hmm? turtles yeah turtles finding their way back to the exact beach yeah. again they'll leave the beach swim around for umpteen years and then come back to exactly the same beach Probably exactly the same place on the beach as well. Fluffy Twiglet, good evening and welcome. So, how many people watching now want to try doing this? <laughs> I know Claire, either. Claire there uh, is uh, thinking about getting a disc out. Uh, yeah, indeed, <laughs> indeed, free. I mean, if you think about it, you know, they just from the other side of the world, they're able to navigate that well. It really, you know, it doesn't sort of matter. I'm guessing you could sort of just, you know, pick them out, let's say, dump them from somewhere else and still do it again without knowing where they are. And that's a really amazing, um, it's almost a mind blowing ability. I mean, I know some of it will be down to sort of just spatial awareness, the aware where things are. So, I mean, people are a bit like that. I kind of know when I'm in somewhere strange, I kind of know the approximate direction to go somewhere, but I'm not sensing north or, or south or anything like that as far as I'm aware. I'm just aware of where I've been and the sort of thing, but not over many years, that's for sure. <laughs> well all apart from in London well I've got to say London is yours so aren't the taxi drivers in London supposed to know exactly where they are outside of it yeah I've had them say you know, where's that I kind of think this is boring, but it's not. It's one of those things where you can sort of switch off your mind and just it's just a, a physical uh, physical action, minimal concentration. But it's 
kind of a relaxing thing to do. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's the difference. So the black cab drivers know the way they should have gone for the, to charge you the least, but um, <laughs> now that's unfair because they are. Uh, I think they're sort of. It's almost a, a matter of pride, isn't it, with them that they don't do that sort of thing. They have. Uh, they do. Minute seek to. Shall we say, I would say seek to minimise, but go go the correct way. If you're around last night, Fluffy Twiggle, when when I mentioned when I um, just asked the question, I think you may just have disappeared. Um, how's your paper for cutting it with a scalpel? So we've got um, Clary Bug here in in stream who makes who does paper cutting, and it, it struck me that your you know your paper would have been quite thick and does it tear easily? And but it would look. Um, for paper cutting purposes, it might look quite um, quite impressive. Yeah, I don't know because they, they know all the routes as well. It's not just the streets; it's literally the 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 the, um, the official routes and things. I suppose it's just like everything else. You know, learning it is, but uh, they um, yeah, it's an impressive feat. I mean, you think about it is it do they actually know any more than somebody who's sort of gone to university and done a you know a doctorate or something and those people learn a heck of a lot so oh, well there, there you go uh, fluffy twiglet since uh, since Claire's turned professional, you may have an outlet for your paper. In fact, yes, we've got two professionals in stream tonight. Fluffy twiglets um, lurking. Probably doing some uh, some college work. College university work. I apologise. At one time, doing making that mistake would have been like swearing. These days, I don't think there are colleges left. Told the trick of this if you want to put it down. Well, I'm told I've learned if you like the trick with this if you want to put it down is to leave it like that because that way you you know exactly where you're where, where you've finished because there's only one side that's got three and therefore you know your next one is is to make that three back into a two. So if you leave it, you, you look at that, you know exactly it doesn't matter, you can spin it around and do what you like with it. Uh, it sort of the single it points the way. So this is this this one that looks black or purple here. If it looks blue on stream, 
No, it looks black. It's a dark purple. Mm, knowing that purple is a pain on stream. So it's going, yeah, it's sort of it just looks black. Which I suppose means purple is, you know, is the, the camera is having a problem with purple still. Uh, okay. Um, I haven't been near a college, university, polytechnic since for uh, 30 odd years, so back then they were they were different you know, polytechnics and universities completely different things colleges they were um, intense rivals to some extent and there was always sort of you know, the universities were always sort of supposedly the upper end and you get the polytechnics that were sort of competing on a you know, uh, on the um, more practical side of things right you know it wasn't it wasn't done to call one the other there's always um, the open university stuff um, you are in the yeah you are in the UK so there's always a um, open university stuff uh, Claire um, it didn't well I say it didn't used to be uh, too expensive of course because you know, it was spread out over a, a longer time period and you could virtually do anything um, in the open university that you could do in a university of course and now I looked at it a long time ago um, but at the time I just bought a house so I couldn't actually afford to do anything I mean, it's still not, you know, even then it, it, it wasn't cheap and, uh, you know, but it would have enabled me, for example, to carry on working, whereas university would have required me to, uh, you know, to do a full-time course, basically. Whereas the Open University was sort of, you know, I think you still have to, you know, in a way you've really got to still commit to it and, and get through the work, but um, at least some of the some of the things like the foundation courses were not time limited in any way you know if you took two years to do them you took two years to do them oh yeah interesting yeah. And of course there are um, quite a few institutions that you know that used to be called night school but uh, that do sort of courses outside of working hours. Um, and, and, you know, they are th you know, things like that, business studies and, uh, and things. Yeah, I used to watch a lot. They used to be really interesting. Because I used to watch all the sort of science and technology and computer ones. So. I mean, that's... That's back then, though, the, the computer programs were on punch card. <laughs> yes, for those of you that um, may not know, Claire there, Claire Rebug, is now a full-time professional jewellery and cut paper making professional. If you want to um, post any examples, Claire, by the way, you're welcome to do so. I believe I've made you, uh, I think I made you regular, so Moobot won't, um, won't catch you. But some of the stuff you showed uh, last night was, uh, I thought was quite amazing. Yeah, <laughs> well, you are now, though, uh, Claire. Um, you're right, actually. For, in fact, the, the, um, I've, there's um, in the UK as well. There's quite a few. I'm just trying to think now. Um, 
Certainly, I mean, I've I've looked at things for things like computer programming, tech, you know, computer technology, telecommunications, things like that, and uh, yeah, there are quite a few um, few courses available, and uh, um, by and the sort of well, some of them are timed, but they're uh, so you do them sort of in real time ish sort of thing, but they're they're led by you know the world expert in whatever it is you know it's not just any old person that's teaching you are being taught in some of these free courses by the world's foremost you know particle physicist or something like that so um you know it, it's uh you know if you're into i don't know you might have stephen hawking teaching you or something you know it's um It's not. It's not a poor man's way of, of learning things. You know, you are. You do have access to the top people. Hmm. Did I ask you how your pictures of the? Um, oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, how are your pictures of the eclipse went, uh, for me? Uh, you keep. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, the worst one with that is, um, is is when you actually get the tracking notice, and that's grown quite a bit. Um, you get the tracking notice and you find it's been picked up and then you'll find it goes to a local depot then it goes right past your house to get to a depot somewhere else then it'll go past your house going the other way to another depot then it'll go past there to, to a local sorting place near your house and then they'll deliver it uh, that, that's when it gets <laughs> so <laughs> it passed me three times Ah, okay. Mind you, I, I, I once had uh, an intelligent uh, UPS driver. I know that's probably an oxymoron, but um, I did order some for, for reasons of discounts and things. I did order something for delivery from a local shop uh, near where I live uh, because it was cheaper to buy it to have it delivered than to walk, literally walk and pick it up. It was that close. Um, so the UPS driver picked it up and actually just delivered it. He brought it, you know, round. And so I said, there's not a lot of point in me taking this back to the depot for it to go from there to the Midlands to come all the way back. Uh, I'd just drop it, you know, an intelligent, I was, I was actually gobsmacked, I was pleased. I got my package a day early, but um, it was um, an it was can't believe it. It's almost the sort of thing you don't believe happens these days. It does exist. <laughs> That's well, 
that one did. It, it still does deliver occasionally as well. Uh, yeah. Oh, the um, that kit I was doing yesterday, the um, the peyote beads. That one was um, that went to in, came into the UK to a sorting depot. And you know, it said left sorting depot. And, you know, oh, it's on its way. No. It went to another sorting depot. And then it went to another sorting depot. <laughs> before it was out for delivery. Uh, I think in Korea. Yeah. I'll pick that up and I'll look at them uh, afterwards. Uh, free. I'll just put that. Uh, I'll look at it after the stream. I know you showed a couple at the, uh, I think at the time, which looked uh, quite amazing. I think they might find it harder though to put a spike through uh, I was about to say metal case it's probably plastic isn't it um, but yeah they can shake it up a little bit Yeah, the little foxes, they're quite nice of those. They are quite nice. Of course, I, li I like that um, calligraphy example that you showed me as well. Um. <laughs> uh, Aldel H, good evening. <laughs> Welcome. All oh, right. So that that that's an extra picture that needs painting. Yeah. Yes, that's the one. I, I both like the sort of the design, but I just find it funny as well. Uh, yeah, amusing, funny, rather than. Yeah, I, I, I don't uh, let's say ordering computer computer components. The the thing I never have luck with is memory. I always get faulty memory. Um, this is uh, Kumahimo braiding. So I'm turning this stuff, braid, into that, which could be either a bracelet or a necklace, or well, whatever you want to use the cord for, basically. So we're trying this out. Um, yeah, another new thing. It looked fun to do, at least to try. So we're trying it out. Just cut the end off and well just pull it, you know, keep pulling it. Took it took it you took at the cable captain Dobby, it'd reach eventually. Yeah, just ignore the sparks while you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm sure you've you've heard of the thing free web um, computer wise sort of you know you, somebody's having problem with uh, with the network so it's kind of like mm, maybe your cables are you know your, your cables a bit loose you know pull on your cable you need to pull a bit more from you know shorten it from your end to to, to the internet get somebody to yank on the cable and there'll be people that will do it yank you know break it out the wall or whatever It, it really is amazing what people will fall for, yeah. Um, I, I wonder if um, if if, uh, if computer support people have ever had people ringing him up. Um, to find out how to you know, how to do uh, look up stuff on the internet, and then persuade you know, talk people. The answers online. Look it up on the internet. Yep, that's the one, uh, Claire. I think that looks that looks lovely and it's clever as well I like the it's a, it's a clever way of uh, saying it I can really imagine that. I really can. Uh, <laughs> How long did it take him to realise? Or didn't he ever realise? of you in stream who might be wondering what a power band is it's it's a 
it's a concept really it's just uh, about the way power is generated in an engine as it gets as, as the revs as it revs up really um, it, it's a um, virtual concept more than a physical one okay cut by hand from hmm. Oh, we'll take a look in a minute then, uh, Claire. You know, I have absolutely no idea how you didn't tear that. That is absolutely amazing work. Do you sort of pencil outline it and then, then cut it that way or is it just totally freehand? Okay. Still, um, yeah, like uh, like stencil cutting free, but um, with with a single sheet of paper, that's going to be a heck of a lot more fiddly than. Um, than a, than a uh, an airbrush stencil. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, clearly both. And it also gives you a template in case you uh, you want to do it again. You know, for do more than one. I kind of wish these bobbins would sort of hang 
in a you know where it's sort of long and thin rather than uh, this so that they sort of didn't catch with one another sort of just bounced past each other I mean obviously these are the cheapest things to manufacture and they sort of do the job but they still do catch a little bit on each other Well, that's one less follower then. <laughs> it was sad that oh, I don't pay for followers, so one or the other. Okay, for me, uh, have a good, uh, good stream. I'll give uh, Fee a little bit of time to set up, but then. Uh, we're approaching that time of the evening. Oh, I can sympathise with that, uh, Aldele. Hope it gets better soon. Shouldn't be much longer now.
Team Base Tyler, thank you very much for following. It looks like Free has uh, just gone live, so he's probably uh, well, uh, he's just got his starting now stream up, uh, screen up. So we'll give him a couple of minutes. But I will, uh, what I will do after the uh, uh, stream, I'm now doing that one, is I'll I'll host uh, Free. So those of you who don't know uh, what Free is doing, um, an artist, um, I believe he said he was painting tonight. So I uh, recommend you check him out. I will host his stream after uh, after I close down if you want to stay around. So uh, we are at sort of getting towards the end of the uh, stream. What we've done is quite a long call this evening. I kind of, that's what got to be, that's going to be at least 15 inches I think. Yeah. And a little tiny bit. So um, I don't know how there's quite a bit of cord left on the bobbins. So what we'll do is we'll continue that. Uh, yes, I think so. But it's fun to do, um, Captain Derby. Uh, so yeah, you know, probably possibly we'll do some more. Maybe experiment with different types. I don't know quite how much. I've got to save up, you see, to get more braiding cord. <laughs> Um, but uh, so I sort of have to take a look at um, maybe different types and things like that or maybe I can braid with wool I've got plenty of wool just down the side down here that might be something to try um, so we can have a go with that later interesting the way the patterns form in this and I know there are techniques of braiding it so you can actually get things like uh, little hearts showing up in the braid and stuff like that but it's um it's been been fun to do it it's it's nice because it, it progresses quite quickly even though it's a repetitive sort of thing but it, it, it is sort of something that's nice you can do like in company or watching watching something else at the same time watching a stream television uh, and uh, you get something that looks quite amazing out of it really to be honest and uh, I say it progressed fairly quickly. I think this needs working a little bit just to loosen it up so because it's a little bit stiff at the moment uh, and probably the braid is a little bit tight so it just needs working just to distribute the tension a little bit. Um, and the instructions do refer to sort of just um, you know, doing that a few times just to uh, you know, even it out a little bit. But what we're going to do is finish this tomorrow I don't know quite how long it'll take. There is, you know, appears to be some thread left on there. Uh, let's just make sure that these are all in securely. Yes, they are. I guess what I should do is do what I said, which is um, if I pull one down there like that, that tells me that's the next one tomorrow. So I'm not left wondering which uh, which is which. Um, but uh, so there we go so what I'm going to do is I am going to say to those people that may not have checked it out if I oh camera's reversed I'm going to do it that way have I somehow I've got to work out which way to do that with the camera there we go <laughs> I've moved the camera so it's reversed I am going to point to that uh, that thing there that, that link you know, those of you that may not have checked out the shop I recommend you do so. I would do, wouldn't I? It's my shop. Uh, there may be some nice Christmas presents there. You never know. Pass it on to family, friends and anybody who you think may be interested or even if they're not interested, pass it on to them as well. Uh, it all helps support the stream. <laughs> Enough of that advert. The next one comes up now. You get two adverts for the price of one. The next one is, of course, for this stream. If you're not following, I do, of course recommend that you do I'd like you to, to follow but if you don't want to that's okay you may just want a notification and if you do you can follow me on Twitter still following but a different system uh, it's ads arrogant art for details 
for that out as well below the stream window in case you come back later and have forgotten and they will be on the end plate short for a short period after this stream but they, as they will be hosting uh, free they won't be there for long on the other hand if you just wish to catch me tomorrow my stream will be tomorrow next one 8 p.m uk time 1900 hours utc or gmt both the same uh eight oh it's about two hours or so ago just about it was eight o'clock here in the uk so that time tomorrow thank you all uh you can do that as well um Aldel, Aldel H. um you can actually braid around things to make hollow bread so that is that is also a possibility and you can obviously braid around things and leave it braided around them like beads and things like that see you all thank you very much and i hope to see you again in the studio in the future bye for now